Hello, this is Codord. Welcome back. So, in this video, I want to create some um, helper functions that deal with the session. So, open your uh, functions of PHP. Now it's time to create those functions. The first function session underline uh, set. We need a key, the name of that session, and a value. So, this function is used to store a new element in our session, and we say session uh, key. Let's see, key and then value. The next function is used to check uh, if there if a certain element is found in our session. So if a search certain session exists, so we have session has. We need a key. And we simply say return and we call a set and session key. Basically, this function. Uh, uh, checks if this element is present in our session and returns true or false based on this check. The next function that uh, we need is to uh, use for uh, removing a certain session. So session remove and then we first check if that session is found. So session has uh, let's see key. Okay. We want to store this session. Let's see session uh, of course we need session get we need to create that function uh, in a moment so we pass this key and then we simply say uh, unset uh, let's see session key and then uh, we return uh, that uh, session that we have stored in that in our va value variable so we need to create that function session. Uh, let's see, session get. We need a key. So return. Well, basically, we have to check if this is found. So uh, return session. We have to use the ternary operator. So session has. We pass a key. If this is true, then uh, return this value session key. Let's see. Key. Otherwise, uh, return. Let's see now. Okay, and we need one more function. Uh, we had that nice functionality with those uh, session messages that we show them once and then we delete them. So, I want to create a new function. Function flash. We need a key, and then we simply say return uh, session uh, remove uh, key. This is going to return that session if it is found and uh, remove it from uh, our session, which is perfect. Uh, all is fine. Now we have to test this back to our um, register.php. We can say, let's see, session set. We need a name success. And then we say, uh, your account has been perfect now back to our register.view.php we need another if statement we can copy this from there let's see well so uh, session has let's see uh, success and I only want this P this paragraph let's see okay echo uh, flash uh, success save and I think we are done refresh click sign up uh, of course we have those uh, validation errors so I think we can take this from here and put it up here so that we have this message first refresh click sign up your account has been created so this is actually a very nice functionality that we are going to use w uh, whenever we want to show uh, the user some messages that uh, eventually uh, we want to remove them from our session basically uh, like this uh, this is a good example uh, we want to tell the user that uh, his account has been uh, created successfully so with this uh, I think we are done let's see we have to change this to session uh, set 
the name errors and the value this errors variable refresh but uh, not now so remove that one from there back to register.view.php remove this uh, these lines back to our browser and now refresh click sign up and all is working fine see you in the next